Prologue My Story The day I gave up drinking was the day the Secret Service stormed my living room. Stormed might be too strong a word since they asked if they could come in first. They were polite about it, two senior agents and a younger guy in his twenties. Maybe I should have said no, but I was still a little buzzed from lunch. It was the Friday before Labor Day, and I had polished off a couple of beers with some co-workers before leaving work early and coming home. I only drank on special occasions, such as weekdays. At the time, I was running a humor website that was known for doing outrageous stunts to get publicity and promotion. One of my favorite pranks was getting a credit card in a celebrity's name. It was surprisingly easy to do. You just called up your credit card company, told them you wanted to add an additional cardholder, and gave them a famous person's name. Like, say, Barack Obama. At the time I got the fake credit card with Barack Obama's name, he had not been officially nominated as a candidate for the 2008 presidential election, but I could see it was likely he'd end up in the Oval Office. So I gleefully wrote up the story of my credit card prank, which brought in loads of traffic to our website. I had been taking bigger and bigger risks with my pranks, trying to outdo myself, and I thought pranking the president was pretty much the pinnacle. I was right. The day after Obama received the official nomination, the Secret Service were on my doorstep. As they filed in, I led them to the living room where two of the agents sat on the sofa. I sat on the love seat. 